Hi, my name is Dan Boskasevic with GC America. I handle the laboratory side of uh, the business here at GC. Today I'm going to talk to you about a revolutionary new block called Sarah Smart from GC. Uh, we're going to go over some polishing procedures and kind of give you a quick overview on how that's done. Okay, so the first step is we're going to take a semi-coarse rubber wheel. Uh, this is the laboratory version of this rubber wheel. They also have the um, uh, operatory version of the rubber wheel as well that you would put in a high speed. Uh, so what we're going to do is make sure we remove this button. This came straight off the straight off the mill. And then the next step is basically to take the same rubber wheel and lightly go over the surface of this restoration to get rid of any burr marks. Again, being very light, not to take away any of the anatomy, just to get rid of those burn marks. Okay, so it's as easy as that. Okay, now the next step is to take our Gradia Dia Polisher. Okay, you can also use your favorite uh, polishing paste or polishing agents out on the market. But in this uh, video, we're going to show our Gradia Dia Polisher. And we then take a Robinson brush. So what we want to do is just gently incorporate, this is a soft Robinson brush. We gently incorporate this polishing paste into the Robinson brush. As you see here, it's um, the white paste is starting to stick on the surface of the brush. In a, in a kind of medium circular fashion, we start to just get the polish out of the surface now. And look how nicely that polishes right up. And we basically work this all over the crown. If you want more paste, you can apply more paste. And again, gently working it around the surface of the, of the crown, the distal, the mesial. And you can see how nicely that and quickly that polishes up. Now we're gonna add in just a little bit more of the paste and we're gonna work the occlusal surface. So now we gently just work the polish into the occlusal surface. And it's really easy as that. The next step now is to put this in an ultrasonic cleaner so that we can get rid of any of the residue that's on the surface that's left over. So our next step is to put the Sarasmart restoration after it's been polished um, into the ultrasonic bath for a few minutes. Okay, so once we're done cleaning the Sarasmart restoration, we take it out and we just uh, wash off any of the residual uh, liquid that's on there. What this process really does is it helps to uh, get all of the residual polishing paste that was on the crown off of the crown. So at this point, the, as you can see, this restoration looks very polished. But if you really wanted to take it up a notch, there's also a cotton buff wheel that you can use to really just bring out that shine. A little bit on the occlusal. Again, I'm doing this on medium speed. Um, and just going in a circular motion. And there you have it. As you can see, it's a very highly polished crown. And it's a very simple process.